A guy called the shop saying he has a couple pinball machines that he wants to sell. And since I love the chance to get out of the shop, I agreed to swing by. Hello? Called about the pinball? I did. Right. Come on in. All new bumpers, new lights, everything, so. That's pretty cool, man. There they are. I didn't know they made a pinball machine for the movie the Twister. Yeah. Dude, this movie is sweet. I'm looking to sell my Twister pinball machine and my Scorpion pinball machine. I'm hoping to get $1,000 for each. The least money that I would probably take is $700 for each machine. This is a pretty classic pinball machine. You don't see a lot of uh, Scorpions around in a uh, fully restored condition like this. They're hard to find. This one I've never seen, but it looks awesome. When you play it, if you get enough balls down underneath, you get five balls that come out, so you're playing like five or six balls at once. Well, that's a twister. It's a tornado, man. It's, everything's going. It's been a minute since I played pinball, man. <laughs> now, what do I got to do to get the six balls going here? You got to either get it through the ramp. It's not a bad idea. Yeah. Or sink it down that hole. There we go. Here they come. That's what makes this one fun. Oh, man. See what I'm saying? Oh, my god, I can feel that wind. It's like I'm in a real twister. <laughs> All right, not bad. Pretty fun. How much exactly did you want to sell them for? I'm looking for $1,000 for each machine. OK, well, I'd like to call a friend of mine down. If you don't mind, he could come shed some light on what he thinks they'll sell for in today's market. OK, right. sounds good. Both of these machines are awesome. So as long as there are no big surprises, I'll be hunting scorpions and chasing twisters at the shop in no time. You're looking at these, huh? I've seen the scorpion one before, not very often. Yeah. Scorpion was made in 1980 by Williams Manufacturing. They made 2,000 of them, and it's one of the last of the wide bodies. They stopped making the wide bodies because they figured out that they could actually get more play fields out of a sheet of plywood, whereas the wide body, you can only get one. When you're buying a pinball machine, you're going to want to look at a few things. So I'm going to open this up, look under the hood, and I'm looking for burnt coils. These are coils, these round barrel looking things. And how you can tell a coil is burnt is you'll have a black band around it, and then, of course, the plunger won't move. So these are actually really nice and in good shape. When I was eight years old, my dad brought home a Lady Luck 1969 Williams pinball machine. And now I'm up to about 350 pinball machines. And now it's sickness. Twister was made by a company called Data East. Sega wanted a line of pinball machines with their name on it. So they hired Data East to make Sega monikered pinball machines. OK. Yeah, some of this stuff needs to be screwed back down, but that's pretty typical of this manufacturer. A couple of mechanisms need to be rebuilt, but overall, it's in good shape. So what do you think they're worth? This particular specimen of Twister does need some repair, and it needs to be cleaned up. It's about 1500 OK. Your Scorpion, uh, Scorpion about 800 Only 800 for the Scorpion? I'm afraid so. I've got a couple in my shop right now, and I can't give them away. Really? Yeah. Well, thank you. You're welcome. The vintage market for pinball machines is pretty scarce right now. Everybody wants the new stuff. Twister is what they're still building now, that kind of game. It's got the ramps, it's got the music, it's got the action, it's got all the little gimmicks, and that's what people are looking for. <clears throat> all right, well, I'm not even going to make an offer on the Scorpion machine. You don't even want this? It's a classic, man. At the end of the day, if I bring something back to the shop that's not going to sell, I might not have a job. But the Twister, I'll give you a 1000 bucks for it. What about 1200 you know, I'm comfortable at about a thousand because I'll probably put about two or three hundred into fixing it up. <clears throat> um, I would be willing to sell the Twister for a thousand. Well, I'm at eight hundred. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> thousand, thousand bucks. bucks. All right. Deal.
I guess since he didn't take the Scorpion machine, it must just be fate that uh, me and the Scorpion machine are meant to be together forever.